Welcome back to Queensland's home of Rugby League, where the scene is set for another great chapter in the game's greatest rivalry. Now, a four-day break from swimming has the vocal cords back in match condition to bring us all the action from Game 2, the voice of Rugby League, Ray Warren. Good evening, Ray. Thank you, Ken. Good evening to you and good evening, everybody, right around Australia and, of course, uh, across in Europe and uh, in England and then New Zealand, right across and even up in Dili. We'll talk about you later. There is a tremendous crowd. I haven't seen a crowd at uh, Suncorp Stadium like this in a long time. I estimate a crowd of 41,000. Ross Livermore was just telling me that they've sold all the tickets and it is uh, a full house. Queensland's team again for you. Lockyer, Rogers, Bowman, Smith, Singh. One change there to the three quarters. O'Neill, Lamb, Smith, Thorne, Tallis, Lang, Hetherington and Webke. Interchange, Green, Carroll, Bowden and Price and coached by Mark Murray. Raining all day long. The boys have filled you in in the preview and in fact the rain just for the moment has stopped. And there's a New South Wales side. Brasher, McDougall, Girdler, Tim and Zainsko. Again, one change at the three quarters. Fitler, Kamali, Hill, Fletcher, Kennedy, Howe, Tuvi, Kearns. And there's uh, Andrew Johns on the bench. Ferner, Muir, Stevens, and coached by Wayne Pearce. New South Wales side there in the dressing room. Just a matter of seconds before they're given the order to go out. And they go into the match uh, with that that buffer, that cushion of having won the first match at Stadium Australia. There's Queensland. The pressure is all on them. Last six matches played here at Suncorp. They've only actually won one of them. That was in the first match last year, which is a statistic that you'd probably bet and lose money on, but uh, that's a fact. In the last six matches played here at Suncorp, just the one win for the Maroons. Talos sucking them in. This is the moment, Peter, that uh, you're saying, I wish this would hurry up and get by. Let's get out there. Let's get into it. That's exactly right. Adrian Lamb looking for the kind of performance we saw from game one. He was close to man of the match. Gordon Tallis, a little bit to make up for us. The Maroons into the tunnel. Darren Smith, the eldest player in the team, as Adrian Lamb leads them out for the seventh time as captain. Scorer of four tries in Origin Football, Adrian Lamb. He's the highest scorer of tries on both sides of the halfway line tonight. Magnificent game in game one. Many people had him as man of the match. And there he is, the number seven, who came into Origin Football back in 1995 during the war. And he's been retained after getting that dispensation ever since. He's playing 13th Origin tonight. Jason Hetherington. He'll be digging deep. Doesn't know how to turn in a bad day's work. As Brad Fittler takes them out of the Blues. 25 origins for Brad tonight. And 10 times as the skipper. I wonder what he's written on the wrist tonight. Adam McDougall I'm talking about. The Blues are out there. Many of them for the first time experiencing the roar of the Suncorp Stadium crowd. And here's Bill Harrigan. Harrigan, the man at the centre of the controversy. 40 years of age today, the biggest birthday party we could organise for him. Andrew, rain, obviously rain, what's it like down there? Yeah, Ray, I don't know what happened to the saying, Queensland beautiful, one day perfect, the next easy to sum up, the conditions wet, but the forecast, if there is good news, showers to clear. You could say history against the Maroons winning tonight, Ray, their record isn't flash when it comes to squaring a series, having lost the opening game. I'm tipping the Blues, but I'm not going to say it too loud amongst this crowd. Yes. Feeling shared, I think, by a lot of New South Welshmen as both teams huddle in preparation for the anthem. To be sung tonight by Elizabeth McKenna, 19 years of age, in her second year at the Conservatorium of Music here in Queensland, a soprano, and the sister of Chris McKenna. <laughs> Tremendous night in front of us here. And uh, as I said, a bumper crowd. The streets Ladies of Brisbane have been be alive with origin talk and looking at the crowd here tonight, looking down the ground from behind. It is just a fantastic rugby league arena, one of the best in the world. Here is Elizabeth McKenna now. 
Origin 2. Anthem of Australia. Reminding me to say hello to the men and women of the 6th Battalion watching in Dili tonight through Oz TV. And through Europe and the UK and New Zealand on Sky Sports. Hello to you people over in England and right down through Europe. Over in WA watching on Wind TV. And of course you're watching, I know, up in Alice Springs as well. It's really become something of an international event, hasn't it? Julian O'Neill, welcome back. That's on everybody's lips, I feel. He's been down the road, he's on his way back. And I personally hope he has a great day. He's wearing the number six for Queensland. The most famous of them all. Good luck. Brad Ford. Just waiting for the dais and rostrum to be cleared from the ground. Bill Harrigan referees... His 11th uh, Origin match tonight, he breaks the record of David Manson. David refereed 10 of these matches during the 90s. Bill tonight breaks the record at 11. Time on. Origin 2 for Harvey Norman is underway in front of a full house at Suncorp. And it's Rodney Howe who brings it back to take the first tackle. And a three-man tackle it was too. Robbie Kearns, his Melbourne teammate. Takes it out just inside the 20-metre line. Blues into the ground. And another Melbourneian, Scott Hill, to the 30-metre line. Now Tuvi scampers away to link up with Kennedy on the right of the ground. Kennedy to play the ball back for Tuvi again to work on the short side. Delivers for Timmons out there on the right side. Right side centre for Timmons. He plays it back for Tuvi. They look for Kamali. Kamali spins it across the line. It's gone off the hands forward from Fittler. And Bill Harrigan will play... The turnover, 40-metre line, Blues into the park, a chance for Queensland. Well, I can't believe that the Blues would run the football the first set of six inside their own territory. In the wet, it's just not done. And a penalty here going against New South Wales, so an opportunity for Matt Rogers to put first points, and it comes from a New South Wales mistake. Poor play on the last tackle, it was never on. Well, that was a chance they took, they really didn't have to. So early in the match, maybe in dry weather, certainly, but... Uh... Not wet weather like this so early in the match when players are still cool. And they'll play the penalty. Matt Rogers, one of the best goal kickers in the game today. And it's a relatively simple one for him. And Robbie Kearns was penalised there for not marking up straight as marker. Rogers there. 20 in, 30 out. Not wasting much time with it. Hits it, gets it away well. It's there. First points are there. 2-0 in favour of the Maroons. The Blues make a mistake. Queensland hurts them with two points. 25 points off this man, Matt Rogers, in his fourth Origin match tonight. Well, Ray, we pointed out how important the kicking game is again tonight, especially in these conditions. And it's just so important early to, to play field position, even kick early in the tackle count. So I'm really surprised that the Blues tactics of running it then as Webke winds up. Good tackle front on there. In fact, he keeps going. Not a good tackle. Well, Rodney Howe went in with a, a shoulder charge. It, it miscued. And uh, it then saw the penalty being inflicted on New South Wales of a few more metres. 
Martin Lang playing it back on his own 30 meter line. Now for Gordon. There'll be no repeat, he tells us, of, of Sydney. I should think not. As O'Neill gets a good kick in early on the tackle count. Midway through the tackle count. And it's been brought back by Tim Brasher. Brasher back in the side with the injury suffered by David Peachy. McDougall, or is it Ainsbury? It was McDougall, and now how? 35 away from the Blues line. They won the first match 20 points to 16 in high controversy. Now a chance to win the series right here tonight. Which, of course, will level the series up at 9-9. Kamali's kick. Back for Rogers on his 20-metre line. Angling across the ground. Kennedy goes high. Tuvi goes underneath. Yeah, swinging arm there from Ben Kennedy. Goes unchecked by Bill Harrigan. And New South Wales already have got to sort something out with their kicking game. Again, we saw Kamali kicking under pressure. There's a swinging arm. OK, from Harrigan. Martin Lang. Oh, good tackle! Tremendous tackle by Robbie Kearns. Hetherington to the right side for Jason Smith. The senior of the Queensland players. 15 caps for Queensland, Jason. As Adrian Lamb turns it in, and uh, Dallas went without it. Kennedy, now he's ruled a knock on here. Double, first. Forward off Queensland, certainly. Yeah, the first attempted piece of skill, just a, an inside ball, but Gordon Tallis took his eyes off the footy. He can't do that, and so this is good field position now for the Blues. I just have my doubts whether Kennedy actually knocked on, and I'm sure after watching it on replay, he did. It came off the upper arm originally. Now Girdler plays it, 40 metres away from the Queensland line. McDougall. And look at the track coming, looking for McDougall, who won man of the match honours in Sydney. To the away, for Kamali on the right of the ground. Oh, Fiddler! Well, that's incredible. It's come off his foot eventually. And it's been taken in by Timmons. Let me how. Fiddler got an ordinary ball, and then he took his eyes off the, the ball and looked at the defence. Here he is again with the ball now. Lamb hangs on. Flick passes for Ainsco, but Harrigan has called it back. In the back for a knock-on. Some big defence out there causing these errors. Gordon Tallis, the chest heavily padded to protect some ribs. Brad Fittler once again looking at Tallis coming through at him. Yet the ball still came off his foot. And a beautiful catch there from Timmons. Oh, there's nothing Freddie can't do. Queensland there with the lock forward Jason Smith under that tackle heavy work from his opposite number Scott Hill Morones coming away from their 40 meter line with Brad Ford penalty it's against the Blues hanging around in there too long Kennedy penalized It's been almost a nervous start from New South Wales. I wondered whether the conditions would change their game plan. They have shown a, a liking to go a couple of passes wide fairly early in a match. I don't know whether tonight is the night to do so. They've got to match the Maroons one out with the likes of this bloke, Martin Lang. Lang running at the wall. Almost breaking it down. Inside the 20 metre line, Jason Smith, they put players in motion in different directions. That's a very good take by Julian O'Neill. Diving full length to take the ball in. And now Bowman. Put down hard by Timmons. Lamb. And now for Tallis. And that's the 20 metre line. Running towards the southern end of Suncorp is Hetherington to the 10 metre line. Jeff Tuvey still down hurt after trying to take Tallis head on. So it would seem Andrew Johns will be in the game in a moment. As Lamb puts a kick across, Rogers is underneath it, puts the bat on it, back on the inside. Jason Smith releases the ball, Darren Smith puts a kick in, in touch and goal. 20 metre restart, optional to the Blues. Tuvi coming off. 
came off the side of the boot a little bit and went too close to the sideline. Very well read on the inside there by Brett Kamali, who claimed Jason Smith as he caught it. There you can see Tuvi leaving. A ready-made replacement with Andrew Johns slotting into the dummy half roll right now. So the Blues bringing it, bringing it away from their own 30-metre line. Special comments from Wally Lewis. Well, Queensland, I think, have got to try and make sure that they take advantage of uh, some of the New South Wales nervousness. An attempt at 40-20. There's going to be plenty of that during the game. Queensland have got to make sure that they take measures to be able to ensure their security around this area of the field. I think one thing, as Peter Sterling mentioned, the great thing is looking at Andrew Johns. His involvement in the game, I think, has had most people talking about this Origin match all week. Lang, almost to the halfway line. What a start from Martin Lang. He's been unstoppable. So Johns is out there. Tuvi will get a report from the sidelines on him in just a moment. As Lamb again puts it down deep onto McDougall's wing. McDougall guarding the Western touchline. Penalty, this time to the Blues. Andrew, what's the story on Jeff Tuvey? Well, the uh, Blues camp, they told us that Jeff was just wounded, but I've just looked off to my right, and Tuvey now has gone to the New South Wales dressing room, so I would suspect that it's a little more serious than that. And I've got to say, Andrew Johns, when he saw Jeff Tuvey go down, obviously he doesn't want to see a teammate injured, but he was up like he had a spring underneath him. So, Johns. Oh, gee. Yeah, Jason Smith high now, and Rodney Howe. And a penalty given. Uh, Corson on the run. Listen, came at him hard on an angle. So really, this is the first time the Blues have had uh, the opportunity to do something. Deep inside Queensland's territory with Kerr. Johns at acting off. Kamali across for Kennedy to go back. And he's put down hard. Brad Thorne and uh, Stephen Price. John's away again for Kamali. Puts a kick in the back, and uh, Lockyer was there waiting for it like a wicket keeper. Now, Matt Singh into the side to replace Wendell Sam. That's a pretty easy releasing of the pressure there. They come 50 metres through two penalties, and then really gave the ball up on the fourth tackle. But they get it back. Tell us. Ball knocked out. Was the tackle by Andrew Johns on Gordon Tallis that has presented this chance to the Blues? Kennedy will play it. Center of the ground, Brasher a dummy half to the right they go. Kamali and now a cross out wide for Scott Hill. Got a ball away. Sean Timmons back for Kamali. Kamali now to the 10 meter line. Back for Andrew Johns and he is put away. Three man Queensland tap. Brasher away. Slow play the ball. Kamali now for Fitter. Cuts out the center. Finds the winger. McDougal bounces off the center. And McDougal's two meters away from the Maroons line. 2-0 in favour of Queensland. The ball off the bootlaces from Kearns. Loses the ball. Darren Smith comes away for Queensland now. Penalty at the second minute to Matt Rogers. And this loose rolling ball. Gee, it gave New South Wales a, a little opportunity. Adrian Lamb shutting it down. Bowman. Had more than a satisfactory start to his origin career back in Sydney a fortnight ago. Played by Stephen Price and Matt Singh, a dummy half run, a settler, which yields 11 metres of ground. Hetherington now waiting for the call. Across for Julian O'Neill. There's a New South Wales player on the ground. I couldn't uh, read any illegalities into it simply because I was watching the ball. It's Brasher now, tackle on his own 40. Yeah, it was Brian Fletcher who stayed down for a little while. No dramas with that. He's now back in the attacking line as Adam McDougall gets involved once again. Johns using Stevens. Just into Queensland's territory. Johns works the short side. He runs into O'Neill. They combine O'Neill and Fawn and pull him down. Pull ball play back for Gertler. Girdler for Kamali. Kamali gets a kick down to the line and Lockett brings it away. Matt Singh is there in support. A ring of Blues jumpers though. They and put him away. Andrew John's already proving to be a handful for the Queensland defence. He's a player that must be followed in that dummy half area. 
because you can get to the line, bump them off and just hold them at bay while he offloads. Bowman again. 2-0 Queensland. Tallis working the blind side. Rain staying away for the time being. Now Lamb. Kicking down. And it'll... Well, it's got to make Tim Brasher play at it. That's a good kick by Lamb. Perfect weight on it. And Brasher's tackled 18 away from his own line. He did really well there, but Tim Brasher, he realised that it was going to go into the in-goal area and stay, so he sprinted to get back as quickly as he could to give himself as much chance to get as far upfield as possible. As David Ferner takes it close to the 40-metre line. Plenty of use from the interchange already from both teams. A mistake from the Blues. Now a penalty. Well, Bill Harrigan was about to put a scrum down, and he got a call from his touch judge which advised him that the ball was knocked out of the uh, the grip of David Ferner. Hand on the ball, and Ferner appealed, and then the touch judge went with Ferner. New South Wales then, back on the attack, 30-metre line, Maroon's end of the park for Ferner. Johnson Kamali, an interesting combination. Fittler switching it back to the right. Scott Hill, he's half through, Brasher's there, oh the pass on the inside, goes to ground and Lockyer picks it up for Queensland. Oh lovely set play there by the Blues, I find it hard to believe why Tim Brasher just didn't put the foot down and go for the line. Nice off play there from Smith, finds the ground, Lamb ties it, tidies it up. Good play isn't it, one that Phil Gould used to use it when he was coaching. Scott Hill gets through, Brasher's, oh well he was held, he was uh, just about got there but it, the pass wasn't necessary. This is Bowden coming away for the Maroons. Andrew, let's update on Tuvi. Yeah, the injury is a little bit more serious than just being winded for Jeff Tuvi. It's rib cartilage damage. I'm told they're going to give him a needle. He won't be back for at least 10 minutes. There's Tuvi on the uh, on the benches next to Rodney Howe. So Lockyer in traffic puts a kick down to the New South Wales in goal. And that should go dead, yes. Previous kick from Adrian Lamb was perfect. And that one was looking good from Darren Lockyer. Brasher, time to smile. A smile of relief. He's got his job done so far, so good. Stevens plays it. Now further. Over in front of the McAuliffe stand. Ron McAuliffe stand, the man that... I believe was most responsible for state of origin football being uh, becoming a reality. Muir plays the ball, Johns works the blind side, Timmons is there looking for the wing to go inside. Aitsko responds, comes inside, puts the ball across for Hetherington coming back, back to the Queensland team. Just by chance he happened to be in the right, right place at the right time. Hang on, he, he calls for that, he can't do that. <laughs> Webke. Miles all round down on the Queensland benches. Particularly big Chris Close, they say. Oh, bound. Bound. Amateur. Here's Choppy. That was a shot of the manager just a fraction earlier on with a big smile coming across the face. A couple of seconds earlier than that, Stevens. He's really made an impression since coming into this game, Jason Stevens. A big shot there, forced the ball loose. He's hit the ball up the middle on a couple of occasions. Here's Adam Muir. With some second phase play going, so all the interchange bench already been used by Wayne Pierce. Timmons now. He's been strong on the other side of the ground in both departments of the game. Timmons. Johns getting an early entry into the game. Fittler puts a kick in looking for Brasher. Brasher's after it, so too is Matt Singh. Singh is there cleaning it up as only Matt Singh seems to do. 100 out of 100 for him. Penalty. Tackle was high. First points in the game off the boot of Matt Rogers inside the two-minute mark. Origin two. Ray, I think Queensland have got to be prepared to grind a bit over these new, next couple of sets of six that they have. They haven't got to try for anything special in this six, except not to turn over possession. They've got to good, uh, get a good uh, kicking chase game going and then put pressure on the New South Wales attack. Ball, ball. Comments from Wally Lewis. 
as Martin Lang takes the ball back towards the play the ball area and that tackle was from his Cronulla teammate Jason Stevens. it was a beauty now Carroll is in the game for the Maroons and just about lost that ball got it back in well done Tony Carroll Darren Lockyer left footed kick low down perfectly weighted for Brasher comes away from his 10 and his tackle just inside 20. Jason Smith leading the defence with Lockyer the kicker McDougal geez you want to watch that knee Julian O'Neill's in a bit of trouble McDougal looked to intentionally lift the, the knee as he came to the defender how and he's caught it right in the ribs that's Julian O'Neill and in all sorts of trouble as he comes back into the defensive line. Kamali straightens and through. Kamali, Kamali to the 20 metre line. Here's Adam Muir. Muir loses the ball. Oh, yeah. Big tackle there from Matty Rogers has saved a try. But Kamali starting to stamp, put his stamp on this match. Here's the knee. Oh, that's Ooh, very dangerous. Oh, I've got no doubt that'll be looked at in the next few days. But, Paul, surely to goodness somebody would have been looking like we were at the incident as it happened. What a tackle here from Matt Rogers because Adam Muir had three players on his left coming across in support. Rod Rogers, that's a try saver. I mean, in reality, it should have been a Queensland penalty back on the 20 metre line. The Blues end of the park off the very next play. The Blues nearly score a try. I can't believe a touch judge or a referee didn't see it. Rain starting to tumble down. Penalty to the Maroons as O'Neill coughs, tries to get the wind passages working again. He was the one on the end of the knee from McDougal. Well, the funny thing is I've, I've never seen Adam McDougal do that before. It's quite uncharacteristic. Peter, you seen him do that? Never. No, he only relies just on his bulk and his strength. But I think we, we will hear something more of it. And here it is again. Coming out of it there before that, because here's the Queenslanders on the attack. Lang. 15 out from the Blues line. Webke. Ball lost behind him. Play on. Green it was, who's on the park. Lockyer now. Taken down by Rod Howe. Queensland with a good chance. 12 away from the line. Lang. Tallis. Tallis. Oh, brush run away. It was Timmons. He got rid of Timmons easily. Played by Tallis. They're 15 from the line. Lamb. Now it is with O'Neill. Now he looks to be recovered. Stevens and Howe making that tackle jointly. Right on the centre of the ground. Paul Green. Now Adrian Lamb turns it back on the inside. Darren Lockyer puts it down. Tim Brasher got the ball for the Blues. And is tackled by Paul Green. Ten away. Zero tackle. His own line. Furner. To be... As Andrew said, they had to give him a needle for a rib cartilage injury. Back in the game. Rodney Howe, Jason Stevens. Stevens put down by the Queenslander Tony Carroll originally before Brad Thorne made an assist. And now Tuvi, Jinx. 40 metre line. Own end of the park. Muir over halfway. Pulled down by Bowman. Now Timmon stands before offloading, takes a bit of... Well, there's Rodney Howe finding himself in the position of having to kick. He's done it before with a bit of good fortune. That kick went straight to Rogers. Brought up his 25th point in Origin football when he kicked that penalty go at the second minute. 2-0 Queensland, but the Blues have had a couple of chances go to ground. See. Green. Now, Martin Lang taken by Ben Kennedy initially, David Furner secondly, and Green again. Runs himself and puts Carroll back up the middle. Carroll is put down on the fourth tackle. 22 minutes of the game gone. Harvey Norman Origin Series and State of Origin 2 from a, a packed Suncorp Stadium. An awful day in Brisbane, but it didn't uh, dampen the spirits of the people that have come here to watch it. Ainsco plays it back in front of his own goal mouth. Kearns. Tuvi now for Muir. Muir shapes back on the inside. Of course, he's renowned for his offloads out of Muir. Maybe not 
the best of nights for him to operate the way he likes to. No, he must be very selective tonight, Ray. Adam Muir can be a big plus with the right ball, but he's got to make sure there's no mistakes in his passing game as Kamali is wrapped up now on the last tackle. They don't want Howe kicking again. It'll go to Fittler. So Fittler puts the big right foot to it. Lock it. Carries it back. Carries the lever. Back up the park. Rogers is held on the 30-meter line. Chance to offload and ops against that. Not tackle. A chance to go again. Now he's put down just inside the 40-meter line. Now Green puts a dummy on Kearns. And Kearns has to come from behind to pull him down. So Rogers waited a dummy half before giving it to Lamb and Lamb away for Bowman. Bowman did well. Had to lean forward to take it in. A ball that no doubt now is very greasy, very hard to handle. Lang oh gee, Rodney How? be careful. Bill Hannigan saw it, pointed to the shoulder, but the Queenslanders are concerned for Martin Lang. Just a flying arm from Rodney Howe. Carroll, fifth tackle gone against the Maroons. Lamb tries to dummy away from Fittler, turns it back for Green on the bounce. Green puts a, a grubbing kick down towards Brasher, then leads the defence. He's the only one there. Here comes another one now. And the Blues coming out of that corner via McDougall. Queensland just dropped off that play there. He had little support, Paul Green. And it's allowed New South Wales to get out to the 20-metre line. And beyond it now with Kerbs. And the game at the moment, Ray Burke, being played between the 20-metre lines. Both sides finding it hard to maintain pressure as New South Wales keep it alive. Here's a chance. Yes, yeah, Stevens operating up the middle, the big fella, but he's pulled down. Three metres from the halfway line. Fitted from dummy half. Gets away from one tackler, gives it to Kamali. Kamali stands, looking around, looking for somebody to run. And to the next on. There's a knock on, a scrum will be taken, we will take a break. Queensland leaving 2-0 after 25 minutes. It's as tight as you might have thought it would be, given the conditions. Hello to you people watching through Sky Sports in, in England and down through Europe, New Zealand through Sky Sports. And to you people, the men and women of the 6th Battalion watching in Dili, we hope you're, in what, you're watching and enjoying Origin 2. Made possible by the Nine Network here in Australia. At the 25th minute, it is 2-0 in favour of the Maroons. Battling for survival in the series. Lost the first. Oh, O'Neill! Picked up and put away by Fiddle. Good tackle. Legitimate. Good tackle. Jason Smith's kick. Down for Brasher in the end goal. And Darren Smith is down there. Matt Rogers arrives now. And Jason Smith came in late, eventually putting Tim Brasher away. McDougall then trying to break through his winger. His opposite number clings on. Now the other winger, Ainsko, taking some of the work away from the forwards. And Tim Brasher a little bit dusty after bringing the ball back from his in-goal area. He copped a knee from Jason Smith, uh, Peter. I think it was accidental. I didn't uh, dally on it. Now it's Timmons with a big run down the right side. Coming back, looking to link up in the centre. What a super ball from Brett Kamali onto his chest. Put him into space. New South Wales, bit of momentum here. Especially out wide a chance. Girdler, well taken there by Matt Rogers coming in off his wing. Now a penalty will give New South Wales a chance to level. They're well within kicking distance. Yeah, but the big question is, do they have the shot at goal or go for six? Like still, I think New South Wales starting to just get a little bit on top. They've made more clean breaks, that's for sure. You can see there Matt Rogers very disappointed with that decision. Bill Harrigan saying that he played at the football and pushed it out. And Ryan Girdler will look to even things up. That's a, a great ball from the number seven. Look at that, right onto Sean Timmons' chest. And he looked up and just had fresh air in front of him. Paul Bowman had, uh, couldn't get to him. Matty Singh came over. And Brett Kamali's the man. He has really... Picked up a gear like he did down in Sydney. He's starting to create some half breaks himself. And his passing game's really come good. Matt Rogers has produced some wonderful tackling in this match. Well, 
I find that really hard to, to understand that penalty. I thought it was one-on-one -on -one when Rod just raked it out. Well, it was. It's a tough call against the home side. Here's Girdler. Girdler's kick. Not, uh, not coming around as he would have liked. Lockyer then. Counter-punching for Queensland. Matt Singer scurries away from dummy half. The Blues then on their bicycle, backpedalling. Now Harrigan gives a penalty to the Maroons. Matt Singh interfered with, trying to play the ball. And that call came from the touch judge. Harrigan was looking elsewhere when the ball went loose. The touch here said, well, I, gee, I don't think that there was any deliberate call there from you to knock the ball out. He was just going around to get into the marker position. Well, that's one that has beaten the touch judge on the far side of the ground. I couldn't see that it got any assistance from Brad Fittler originally. And I couldn't see a hand on the ball. Price now. Hetherington, Adrian Lamb, Russell Bowden. Bowden takes a heavy tackle. Gee, there's been some corkers out there tonight. That was Brian Fletcher. Now Lamb switches from right to left. They go back to the short side. As wide as it may be. O'Neill, Lockyer, basketball, Talis, Talis, Hedrington, Hedrington. Gets it inside the 30-meter line. Jeff Tuvey and Brian Fletcher pulling him down. Played back for Gordon Talis and then away for Adrian Lamb. And then he cuts out Brad Thorne. He picks up Jason Smith and he swivels away from Robbie Kearns. He's got about 12 meters to go. Pulled down by Brasher and Jeff Tuvey. But Queensland are on the attack. Hetherington, Lamb, Lamb, puts a grubbing kick in. Lock you up! Oh, bro, oh, Brasher! Brasher! Came across like an eagle! That's why Tim Brasher is such a great player at origin level. He's Mr. Perfect as far as getting into position is concerned. Once again, a situation where Lockie was streaming through for the football, but Brasher read it so well and got there first. Tell you what the big play was, Paul, was the fact that he made the tackle on Jason Smith only moments earlier and had to cover a lot of extra ground that he wouldn't, wouldn't normally have had to if he hadn't been involved in that defence. A juggle from O'Neill, taking 30 out. Great save by Brasher there. Good attack by Queensland. Lamb and Lockyer putting it together. Webke now. They go back for another, another smell of it. The New South Wales in goal. Hetherington for Lamb. Lamb back on the inside. Talis has not gone. Trishaval comes off the Blues. Andrew Johns takes a heavy hit. Yeah, he was offside there, Gordon Talis. But again, the referee was unsighted. Tim Brasher. Been excellent tonight. Takes a dummy half run. Sideline, Andrew. Yeah, it's amazing. I don't know what you're feeling up there, but down here on the sideline, there's just a feel of this match that this is going to go right down to the last five minutes again. And if that is the case, perhaps goal kicking could be the difference. Ryan Girdler, most unhappy with his kicking in game one, and already none from one tonight. Scott Hill, Andrew Johns, and then Rodney Howe. Howe wide over on the McAuliffe side of the ground. Plays it on the 40-metre line, Queensland's end. Come on. And Brett puts a kick across. They're all onside the Blues. Roger stands his ground, takes it beautifully, then gets a ball away for Jason Smith, then to his brother Darren. Darren comes outside his own 30-metre line. Great exchange of rugby league. Four. Webke. There it is, floated down. Put under the chest of Adrian Lamb. Lamb taken by Timmons and Kamali. Then Bowden gives the ball for Bowman. Bowman again taken by Timmons. Timmons is having a tremendous game. He really has been strong in both uh, departments, as I said earlier. Then it comes from Julian O'Neill. Wait for Darren Smith. Darren gets out of one. Chance to unload. Does that. Matt Rogers hit with a bombardment of defence. Thorne. Jason Smith again. Now for Darren Lockyer. Steps. Beats one. Beats two. Gets the pass back for Jason. Smith that is. He puts the ball high. There's a good chase from Queensland. They might get the ball back. Loose on the ground and a penalty to Queensland. Well, they will take the kick at goal, you would have to think. Well, he's saying that the Queensland chases were taken out by the Blues. I had a question mark as to whether they were onside for a start from the, the Jason Smith kick. I think Wayne Pearce will have a bigger question mark as to why nobody tried to get underneath it and catch it on the full, and it was probably that man on screen 
before Sean Timmons and Jamie Ainsco, who was in the best position to do so. The ball's coming down. He's looking at the Queensland players. Had to attack the football. And there you can see Russell Bowden is the man manhandled by Sean Timmons. Yes, that is the reason for the penalty. The man not in possession, tackled. And it is Russell Bowden who's coming into shot. And uh, there is the, the breach. Bowden not given a fair opportunity to contest the football. And so Rogers from the other side of the ground to where he kicked the only penalty of the game so far. The only points of the game. Here he is, 20 in. Hits it. Oh, yes. It's there though. Two more points to Queensland. As we take another break, we're back in a moment. 4 0 to Maroon. Yes, it may, as Andrew Voss said, come down to goal kicking. They've had two from two. Queensland, that is. New South Wales, none from one. That's good Morley. This is the ball for the restart. Oh, what a mistake. What a mistake from Shane Webke. Welcome back to Suncorp, Queensland leading 4-0, but look at this. That was the restart 10 seconds ago, and the scrum has only just four. So we are back live. A scrum win for New South Wales, 10 metres from the line. Fiddler taken down by Darren Smith. Queensland knows they have to defend very strongly now. That is an unforgivable blemish. Knocking on from the restart. Now, it is Robbie Kearns as they take tackle number three. Andrew Jones, Kamali, Kennedy, Kennedy back, How across, Kamali on, Andrew Johns gets it away. And the defence from Queensland equal. Bowman the tackler on Ferner, Johns for Kamali, puts in a little kick, well covered by Lockyer. Well, gee, they're, they're strange little kicks tonight from Brick Kamali. They had, had a couple up their sleeve, but wonderful defence, wasn't it, from Queensland? They kept coming up, forcing New South Wales to get some panic passing happening, and Bowman out there has been terrific in defence for the Queenslanders. Hetherington. Webke will want, he'll want a piece of it, I would imagine, very soon after his mistake. He'd like to get it out of his system. And, oh, gee, another mistake by the Maroons. Well, happened the Blues been given a couple of chances here inside 60 seconds. Well, this is very similar to the penalty that was awarded to Queensland earlier. The New South Wales player just trying to get back into the marker position. This time it was Scott Hill. Tony Carroll, Carroll has just lost that one cold. So they have had some chances, New South Wales. And really, as we come into the last five minutes, that time they took advantage. It's good. Take nothing away from the Queensland defence. That's what's denying them. Darren Smith, the tackler. His defence on the right side for Queensland has been probably a replica of what Timmons has been doing over on the other side, the right side for New South Wales. Pretty similar games. As Ferner comes back, showing it and then trying to run it. 12 metres out from the line for David Ferner. Andrew Johns and then Brad Fittler around the corner pass, finding Brett Kamali, cuts out Scott Hill. Bounces for Ainsko. Ainsko puts a little kick in. Matt Singh is on top of it. Matt Singh taken by Ainsko. And it's been grounded in goal. Line dropper. The Blues will get another shot. Yeah, the boys are kick happy out there wide for New South Wales. They're trailing 4 0. That wasn't a bad one, though, from Ainsko. He can rubber and chase. He's done it plenty of times for his beloved Dragons. On occasion, they got the good result. Not a try, but the next best thing. It was very lucky for Queensland there. Matty Singh, I'm sure was attempting just to slide to the ground, get Ainsco over the top and take off to try and get back in the field of play. He had Lockyer in support, fortunately the ball over the line. This will tell. Queensland's strength will really be tested. Around about 20 tackles now they've had on their own line. Hitler's involvement is going to be a, a real feature. So the drop kick from Julian O'Neill in these conditions is a beautiful kick. Superb kick. How? Taken down by Price. 30 metre line. Three minutes to the break. Stevens taken by Jason Smith and then Martin Lang diving on the top of the pile. For Andrew Johns to go away. 
And Hetherington takes him. It was given by Scott Hill. Back for Rodney Howe. Howe comes to Lang and Hetherington. Six again, Ray. The pass from Johns was touched by the Queensland defence. Johns again. Brian Fletcher running straight over the top of Stephen Price, who hangs on. Johns gets the ball away. Fiddler. Fiddler's pass and Scott Hill from Brasher now. And Ainsco, he realises there's no, no space down there. Andrew Johns taken by Darren Smith. He has been superb in defence. Stevens, cut down by Hetherington and by Lang. Now it's the Maroons on the back foot. Kamali, out it goes for Scott Hill. The ball to ground. It's kicked away by Darren Lockyer. And the Blues are with the ball. But referee Harrigan is saying that it was propelled forward. Well, the Queensland defence, how good is it? New South Wales have looked like they were going to score about five times in this first half. Again here, a quick ball needed, and Hill gets smashed by Matty Singh, coming in off his wing. Ball goes forward. Well, I don't know about the ball going forward there. I agree. Well, Heroic defence from Queensland. Darren Smith has just been unbelievable tonight. Adrian Lamb came up with a try saver as well. But I still believe that that ball was raked out by Matt Singh. Yeah, I agree, Peter, and I'm not sure whether you agree on the point, but I think New South Wales are trying to score this try too quickly. They've had overlaps on a couple of rucks in a row there, and they're just not prepared to, to sit back and wait. They're trying to overrun the pass. Queensland, though, they'd be breathing a little bit easier. Just under two minutes to go in the, in the half. So the Maroons. With Lady Luck smiling on them. There is no way in the world that ball from Scott Hill was a knock-on. Adrian Lamb beyond the 30 metre line he's own into the ground I don't think I've ever seen a better defensive effort from two centres together than what we're seeing tonight from the Queensland pairing of Bowman and Darren Smith especially under pressure they've had to make some tough decisions tonight and invariably it's been the right one there's O'Neill it's a good kick away Dougal back with Brasher McDougall picking it up. Spinning away from tackle after tackle. And then this trademark of uh, Adam McDougall. This trademark running action. Almost a replica of Michael Hancock, as I've said before. Refusing to go down. Brasher plays it now. Brian Fletcher. Beautiful pass for Girdler. Girdler is cut down. Five metres his own side of the halfway. Then from Kearns to Fittler. Fittler across it goes for Kamali. Tallis came up quickly, made the tackle with Price's help. Brasher then for Scott Hill. Scott Hill cuts out Adam Muir, finds Sean Timmons. Timmons comes back in. Adrian Lamb is underneath all of that, making the original tackle. 40 metre line, Queensland's end. And it's Scott Hill getting it away for Robbie Kearns. Kearns gets it around the corner. Stevens bats it back. Taken by Lamb for Queensland. Uh, that'll be the last chance the Blues will get prior to half time. Rogers takes the last play. Hooter in the background. First half of football highlighted by the defence of both sides, particularly Queensland. It is 4 0 at the break. I'm just looking at a Queenslander down injured at the moment. The trainer's trying to lift him up. It is Jason Smith. And it is a right leg problem. We'll check that during the break. Tell you more about that in just a moment. It is 4-0 Queensland. Two goals off the boot of Matt Rogers. We take a break. Jason is armchaired from the ground. That will be a terrible blow to them if he can't come back. We'll come back though shortly with highlights from the first half with Ken Sutcliffe and Phil Gould. This is State of Origin 2. Welcome back, everybody, live to Suncorp Metway Stadium, the new name and, of course, the sponsorship of those people. Replacing Lang Park, great site. Just an absolutely magnificent rugby league site, as I said earlier. It's a, it is a rugby league stadium, one of the best in the world. Well, the Blues have not come back from a deficit at half-time more than twice in origin history. And one of those occasions was down in Sydney a fortnight ago, so the... The record books suggest that they can't come back. 4-0 down at halftime. Brad Fittler doing most of the talking. The coach would have already had uh, 
his say. In the meantime, the Queenslanders are on their way back. They've only won one match here from their last six, reminding you of that. But uh, at the end of the day, New South Wales had so many chances in that first half, and it was just superb defence. Lamb played a part in that. Darren Smith, I thought, was to the fore. Matt Rogers. They scrambled, and it looked as though their lives depended on it, didn't it? As they snuffed out New South Wales try scoring movement. They weren't just breaks, they were try scoring opportunities. Rogers has been great. Two from two for him. Girdler. This with his only kick at goal. In fact, his origin record reads at seven from 14, Girdler. He's only got a 50% uh, ratio. Ryan at origin level. the top performers out of the first half according to our panel of experts well for mine there's been no better three for Queensland than these three Darren Smith Matt Singh and Brad Thorne all in the defense department mainly especially the top two they probably saved two or three tries between them and Brad Thorne uh, really heavy stuff from him 16 tackles six hit ups 51 meters he's been in the thick of the action and for New South Wales a lot of confidence at the back from Tim Brasher he's been faultless tonight but that was expected Ben Kennedy leads the tackle count with 18. A lot of work from Ben Kennedy. He'll be hoping to get more football in his hands. While Andrew Johns has had a lot of game time through that early knock to Jeff Tuvey, there's no doubt New South Wales look better in attack with Johns on the field. Interesting to see how Pierce will use both Johns and Tuvey. Bill Harrigan creating his own record tonight. He's 11th origin whistle. Most uh, number of refereeing performances in an origin. And Bill Harrigan at 11 has displaced David Metz. So we're into the second half now, and Webke it is that brings it back for Queensland on play number two. In front of a capacity crowd. It's about 41,000 the game. Origin-wise, very healthy here. Ball lost by Hetherington, and it's been raked out in a two-man tackle. Harrigan penalises. So it'll be a kick for line towards the McAuliffe stand to be taken by Queensland as we watch it. Hand on the ball. Tuvi was the underneath tackler and Kearns on the top. So they find the line. Early seconds. Second half of State of Origin 2 and Thorne takes it ahead and just a tendency to lift his, lift his leg a little bit. Now he goes down the blind side to the 20 metre line. Biggest player on the park. Lang taken by Howe, taken by Fletcher, and by Tuvi. 15 away from the line. Hetherington, a couple of paces out before giving it to Lamb. Lamb, dummy do, uh, Webke gave it to O'Neill. O'Neill away for Tallis, and Tallis standing and trying to stampede over the top of them. He plays it 10 metres away from the line. An early opportunity in the second half for the Maroons. Webke on the charge. Five gone. Hetherington back for Tallis. Tallis comes back on the short side for Bowman. Bowman puts in a little kick and Brasher's on top of it. And it'll be a 20-metre restart. And I thought for a moment Bill Harrigan was pointing towards the uprights. Very confident young player, this fellow, Bowman. His second origin and he did nothing wrong in Sydney and just watching him then, he's very collected, isn't he? Kearns coming away for the Blues. Andrew Voss, uh, what happened at halftime? Well, Ray, I can tell you in the New South Wales room, plenty of uh, positive talk, and that pretty much was the message from Wayne Pearce to his players to remain positive, but with a little more patience when they get inside the Maroons 30 and 20. He did make point, though, that their kicking game could improve, and I can give you an update on Jeff Tooby. He is out there, but he's not in great shape with that rib cartilage injury. Kevy Walters has been inside the Queensland room, Kevin, and, and first of all, the injury news on Jason Smith. Yeah, Jason's doubtful in the second half. He's just still got a nice back on his ankle as we speak now. Very doubtful. Uh, Mark Murray wants the Queensland boys to hold their defence and keep the pressure on the Blues. All right, Ray, back to you. OK, thank you, Andrew, and Kevin Walters, of course, on the team. Adrian Lamb. Talis now. Talis goes for what acceleration he's got. Well, hasn't the stroke of half-time been cruel to Queensland in the opening two matches? Of course, Wendell Saylor was carried off the interval in Game 1. Now Jason Smith may not be in having this match. That's a big one. He's been wonderful tonight, Mark Lang. Just gobbled up the tough metres. To the right. For Webke. Big front 
Row forward displaying a new talent. McDougal. Outside his own 10. Straightens up. Outside the 20. Links up with pressure. Beautiful tackle by Darren Smith again. Penalty. It's against Darren Smith after some excellent work in defence. Yeah, great tackle by Smith, but hasn't McDougal been dangerous tonight for the Blues? Another great counter-attacking run there, well supported by Tim Brasher. Opportunity for the Blues now. Rodney Howe tackled 15 away from the line on the eastern side. Kurtz. Taken by Lang. Is there going to be a break in this Maroons defence? It has been watertight. Kamali, now Fittler inside ball, Scott Hill. Desperation stuff from Brad Thorne. Then Brasher, now Fittler. Fittler will score! Fittler's over adjacent to the uprights. He looked to get a little shepherd from Jeff Toothy, but there was no defence. It is four points all. Five minutes gone, second half. And you can almost see Brad Fittler say, give me the football, I'm going to take them on and I'll get across. The big left foot step gets him into the hole and then just pure strength to jam the football down next to the post despite the attention of Darren Lockyer. Was set up by the previous couple of plays. He's got space, but he is so strong and so evasive. He ran behind Tuvi, but no defender was impeded. And the captain said, well, give it to me. I'll lead the way. Just like the first game, wasn't it? He was had quite the first half down there. Exploded the second half. The same here. Give me that ball, he said. I'll show you how to do it. And the Queensland defence was found napping. And the bench, well, they, they're happy. They realise what a great start it is for the second half. I remember Laurie Daly scoring a try in last year's series. The last game he played at the Stadium Australia. He burst onto a pass and it was just pure class. And just to get across the line and Girdler should put his team in front. Brad Fittler to handle two rucks in a row, probably for the first time in the match. Is it a sign of times to come? Almost in front for Girdler. 11 out, and the flags are in the air. New South Wales are in front. Six points to four, six minutes gone, second half. Back on the wide world of sports in just a moment. They've come dressed for the occasion, haven't they? First time, the Blues are in front. Brasher. Wonderful return to Origin Football for Tim. New South Wales by two points, 6-4. If you've just joined us early days in the second half and the great Brad Fittler scored adjacent to the uprights. Now... A break by Brian Fletcher. There's nobody with him. Here comes somebody, Kamali. But it's still with Fletcher. And Fletcher will play it. The gates open. Fletcher surge through. To be Kamali, Kamali Hill. Hill gets it out on the left of the ground for Kennedy. Kennedy's inside the 20 meter line. Girdler sandwiched by Smith and Rogers. Now brush. Kamali, Kamali drifting across, dummy to Fittler, gave it across, it's on the bounce, it's uh, knocked on by Timmons, picked up by Singh, and Matt Singh gets a pass away, Adrian Lamb comes down the left flank, Adrian Lamb to the 40 metre line. Both sides displaying great rugby league skills. Tell us now, comment from Wally Lewis. Well, Queensland are going to have to look, make sure that they get their act into gear a little bit here. Gordon Tallis, the man slipping over to open up a... Uh, a little bit of a hole for Brian Fletcher there, but they must get their kicking game into action. Of course, we saw a wonderful return of play by Adam McDougall, but when they get to that fifth tackle, they haven't got enough options. If Lamb's taken out, we saw Webke use the kick, and it wasn't effective. So they go across for Tony Carroll out wide. The Maroons now, their turn. Down the northern end of the ground. Brad Thorne pulled down by Fletcher. Wonderful run by Brian Fletcher. Petherington, Lamb puts a kick high. Good chance for the Chasers. 
Oh, Matt Singh had it and it came down to pressure. Ainsco now tries to clear. Well, the way Matt Singh's played tonight, you almost expect him to catch this and score the try. Got his hands to it, but just couldn't hold on to it. So Tooby scurries out to the 20-metre line for Robbie Kearns to take it beyond there. Plays it back for the number nine. And then Brian Fletcher again. Out the back for Brasher, leaving the 30-metre line behind him. Ray, just an observation. Soon a couple of players missed the ball with their foot tonight. And there was another one from Brasher. Kearns two tackles earlier. Pete, there's been about 35 of them. But it's good to see that uh, rule out the window for tonight at least. Darren Smith handled there by Brad Fittler and Ben Kennedy. Made to play the ball. 38 metres out from his own line. Carroll piled into the ground. Fletcher and Tooby combining. The Blues in front by two. 6-4. Try to Fittler. Five minutes into the second half. Webke to the halfway. Survival uppermost in the minds of the Queenslanders now. Lose this, they lose the series. Stephen Price. Bowman. Lamb. Runners coming up on the inside. Matt Singh. Gordon Tellis. Tellis. He's away. The rampaging ball is over. Gordon Tellis has scored. They are back in front at eight points to six. Matt Singh. He's some kind of a genius. He does Lost this level of football. He's made the bust, and Gordon Tallis has scored. He does feature in some big plays, doesn't he, Matt Singh? The inside ball, and it's just a simple missed tackle. And then Gordon Tallis stretches out of the attempted tackle from Sean Timmons, I think it was. So two or three misses in a row has seen the Maroons fight back, and Adam McDougall just cleaned up there after Gordon scores the try. Rodney Howe misses the crucial tackle. Well, you've got to say, this one coming across from Sean Timmons could have been a try-saver as well. There's many great players that have missed a rampage in Gordon Tallis. And Adrian Lamb, good to see him run the football to the line. Hasn't done much of that tonight, but one of the few occasions he has, he sets up a Queensland try, and they're back in front, the boys. A little left-swinging arm there from Gordon Tallis, collected with McDougall's head. Well, the kick is successful. 10-6 Queensland over New South Wales. And you, and you talk about your inspirational players and you look to a bloke like Gordon Tallis. I tell you what, the uh, the program that uh, the people buy here at uh, Lang Park Suncorp Stadium tonight, the form guide about Gordon Tallis said, a rampaging player who is one of the most dynamic forwards in the game and will be the greatest danger to the Blues. Well, how true that is. Great start to the second half. Fittler. A try for the Blues after five minutes. And then Queensland answered after ten. Two of the game's real superstars. Fittler and Tallis. Webke. Oh, gee. You can feel that in the grandstands from Howe. Hedrington for Bowman. Bowman beats Timmons. Morley wrestles and sprains to put him down with the help of Muir. Petherington to the right for Lamb. Lamb for Bowden. Bowden's lost it. he has got it. Quick spread of the ball to the left, and they would have had numbers there, the Blues. Now they're going there, but Stevens takes it up the middle. Yeah, it was important there for Queensland to have a good consolidating set of six. Thought they might have just taken two or three and kicked, but Fittler up the middle now. They've given the Blues a chance straight away. That's where they are, 10 metres away from the line. Tooby away for Kamali. Kamali dummies to Hill. Then he runs around the back of Muir. No Shepard, says Havoc can play on. Kamali playing it back for Timmons. Timmons has a go himself, and Timmons uses up a tackle. Fourth is gone. Kamali through for Scott Hill. Out it goes. Rifle to Howe. Puts a kick in. Urgency for Queensland. Darren Smith was about to dive on it. And Julian O'Neill has kicked it from under his mouth, really. Watch this. Well, all the profs have produced their kicking games tonight. Howe on a couple of occasions. Webke. Smart play from Rodney Howe. 
Rogers has come in, nullified any chance he had to pass the football. There was an overlap of three out wide. And Howe just drifted one into the in goal area. Nice play from him. So the pendulum swings back for the Blues to have the next shot. That's the way this one's been. One end, then the other. What a beautiful drop kick from Julian O'Neill. Was it O'Neill? Yes, it was. That's the second line drop out in the game for them, and both of them, he's banged them 50 and 55. Kamali now for Scott Hill, a dummy for Muir. Outside, lost by Timmons, picked up by Ainsco. Ainsco away from one, Ainsco away from a second. That was Gordon Tallis. Comes back, comes back to where he started it from. Play back for Scott Hill again. Then Adam Muir. Muir bumps away from Hetheringham. Comes at him again, beats him again. Now it's away for Howe. Howe on for Fittler. Fittler taken by O'Neill. Gets it back for Stevens. Stevens taken by Bowden. Gets over the top of him. Gets it back to Tuvi. Tuvi away for Kamali. Kamali kicks in behind the winger on the left. It's Matt Singh. Singh comes away. He beats Bradford. He runs outside the 20 metre line. He's still going. He's outside the 30. Oh, that is beautiful stuff. Ah. That, is, that is champagne rugby league. How good is he, Matt Singh? He's an absolute star at origin level. Great player, Matty Singh. Price. I must say, I am surprised at the amount of times Brett Kamali is looking to kick, grubber kicks into the in goal area, and at times with a lack of chases. They have pressure on there as O'Neill into the clear. Support there in Bowden. Bowden there. 35 metres away from the line. Chance. They've got numbers on the right. Oh, Carroll's put it down. And he's going to pack a scrum just beyond the New South Wales 20 metre line. There's the numbers I was talking about. Have a look at them. They knew they... Well, I don't know whether they needed to be that extravagant, but they certainly had the numbers. And a mistake. Costing Queensland. Crowd figure, 38,000. 796, incidentally. 30 metre line for the Blues, the Wizard Blues. Doing it tough at the moment. They're four points in arrears on a greasy pitch. Timmons. Brasher. Muir. Oh! Was there a hand in between? Lifting. Not according to Bill Harrigan. Stevens probably wasn't what you might call a spear tackle anyway although it did look a bit dangerous to me now Johns floats it away Girdler had to go back the impetus came out of the attack Girdler's pass was questionable McDougall puts a kick in now up from the deep comes Lockyer McRae, as soon as Andrew Johns comes into the game things open up for New South Wales I'm a little bit surprised it took 15 minutes. A dart out of dummy half, and all of a sudden the defence was sucked in, drawn in, and a chance appeared. Well covered up here by Lockyer again. 57th minute of State of Origin 2 at Suncorp Stadium. 10-6 in favour of the Maroons. As Lamb makes the break. Lost his footing and pulled down by Scott Hill from behind. Halfway line, as Lockyer kicks on the final play. McDougall comes across from the eastern side, and Paul Green is there with Darren Smith to clean him up. Ainsco, his job to get it away. 6-4, the line breaks. New South Wales, the better of that. They haven't been able to convert, though. David Ferner back into the game. This is Jason Stevens with it now. Playing the back for Andrew Johns. Out from Dummy Half he goes. And chances his arm as he gets it away to Girdler. Girdler's over the halfway line. Only just before being tackled by Carroll and Smith. And then from Johns for Kamali. Kamali away for Fittler. Fittler puts a kick in. And it's a big one off the right foot. And well placed. It's going down into the end goal. And it makes it. It makes it.
Yeah, they, they, won't, they won't mind that, though, the Blues. They can get their defence set now. Brad Fitley uh, started the second half well, but the mind still needs to get in closer to the ruck and take charge. Get his supports running off, and the more he runs, the better for the Blues. The Queenslanders are there, just hanging in there. They're in front, leading by four. They've had some great performers. Paul Bowman's been one of them. 40-metre line for Bowman. His own end. Green, 14, teammate of Bowman. They've done well, the Cowboys, four of the minute. Wally Lewis. Well, while the Queenslanders are trying to get out of the field position they are, I think it could be a better idea for them to clear it on earlier tackles. Tim Brasher stands only two or three metres behind the line for the first three or four tackles. A good kick and chase can probably pin the Blues. Green looking around, then running the blind. Oh! Hello! Mueller with a beauty on Paul Green. The little pilot was uh, in mid-air. Brasher. Look at this. Watch this. And Muir, he's got him right on the point of the shoulder and driven the little fella. John's now for Kamali. This is Ferner. And the Raider gets it away for Johns, who spirals it out for Girdler. And Girdler got over the top of O'Neill. He's tackled by Darren Smith with the help of Matt Rogers. Then Andrew Johns for Adam McDougall. The Nova Castrians working. Five metres their side of halfway. Johns again. Fittler. And looking for Fletcher, he's uh, Sydney Roosters team on the inside. Play quickly back for Johns. Johns goes up the middle, cuts out Kamali, gives it away for Adam Muir. Muir away for Ferner. Ferner inside ball for Timmons. Timmons kicks. Oh, he'll score! Oh, this is rapid fire! You won't see that again for a long, long time. I can't believe it. I cannot believe what I've seen. Oh, what a great try there. A, a super option on the last tackle. And again, it was Andrew Johns sensing that there was a chance. A nice select pass to Adam Muir, who gets a beauty almost off the ground. And as we freeze it here, you can see that the inside play unfolding is going to be back inside. The defence coming across, there's a lack over here as play continues. So the right option is taken here by David Ferner. On to Timmers, he realises it's the last. He kicks, it hits the outstretched hand, bounces back into his. And what a way to put your team back in front. That is just freakish, isn't it, from Sean Timmons. Darren Lockie just put a duke out to try and nab the ball, knocked it down, and Timmons on the charge, on the chase, got the ball back, no one in front of him. The Blues go up in the background. A nice effort all round. Good teamwork there from the, the Blues to find that space out wide. All came through a, a run from Fitler, a quick play of the ball. And then Joey Johns, hasn't he played well since he's been on? And he's everywhere. Enormous satisfaction from Paul for this man, Sean Timmons. When he missed Gordon Tallis for Tallis's try, the head went down. He realised what a, a big blow that was against his team. He's made up now. And a chance here for Ryan Girdler to give them back that two-point lead. Ten points all. Well, you can't call that. That was just too fast. The kick from Girdler is spot on. The Blues are in front. 12-10, 61 minutes gone. Well, what is that for a trick? You certainly can't defend against that. It was like a rally of tennis at the net. A couple of good volleyers just having a set two, eyeball to eyeball. Ferner played a part. Welcome back to Suncorp Stadium here in Brisbane. In front of nearly 39,000 people, we have seen a miraculous try for the Blues, carries them to the lead. 12 10. Here they go again. Crashes up the middle. There's one to beat the fullback. Oh, he loses his footing and Lockyer gets him. John's now. Then for Kamali. Kamali tackled on the Queensland 20 metre line. Now from Muir picking up Fittler. Fittler across for Johns and Johns for Scott Hill. They'll score again. New South Wales now they're carving them up. 16 to 10. 
and the despondent faces on the Queensland bench. Great stuff again from New South Wales. You've seen them at the best. They had opportunities first half. Second half, they had taken advantage. It was started by Fletcher. Beautiful offload to Tim Brasher. He had Andrew Johns in support. I think he took the right option. I think Johns would have been covered. But then, have a look at this next pass. He frees it there. This man is going to catch it, and he's going to hit this man here on the outside of his defender. And as play continues, just have a look at the quality of that pass. Not good reading by the centre. No, in fact, it was Adrian Lamb, I'm sorry, allowing Scott Hill on the outside, but he did have numbers coming at him. Yeah, the Queenslanders have missed 25 tackles in this second half, and that's not cutting the mustard. That's why they're behind on the scoreboard now, and not very well read at all. Lamb, just raced up, trying to cut off the plate, and the pass beat him. And the pass, not surprisingly, again from Andrew Johns. Scott Hill, what a moment in his career. Spent the greater portion of last year out with that shoulder injury. It cost him a berth in the grand final. And during his recuperation, somebody belted him over the head with a, an iron bar or something. And here he is back scoring a try at origin level. One of those rare players who played test football before origin. And what a big kick here for Ryan Girdler. His team leads by a converted try. What a buffer eight points would be. Girdler, 10 in. 20. 16 to 10. A converted try margin. Hits it beautifully again. Good. Another two points. 18 to 10 now. Another look at the try. Andrew. And Ray by G, these last five minutes has made a few of these Queenslanders spill some of their forex. And I've got to tell you, the players who are really having a big impact tonight are the three players who weren't there in uh, State of Origin number one. Andrew Johns, Tim Brasher, even Adam Muir. They're playing a big role in this Blues success up to this point. I can give you an update too on Sean Timmons. He was replaced straight after scoring his try. He has a twisted knee and he may not be back. Brasher on the way back. Wally Lewis. Queensland having a real problem. New South Wales confidence, very uh, confidence, uh, very evident at the moment. The way that they're managing to tip it around, they're dictating terms to the Queenslanders at the moment. The speed, the way that the game's being played, has been completely controlled by Johns. He's doing it perfectly from the ruck. His selection of when to run from that area has been 100% all night long. Queensland now find themselves on the back foot. They've got to be able to come up with something. The big question mark is just how do they do it? Here's Johns again. Standing, offloading, fending, Kearns, Kamali, Muir, and Muir stands. He gets rid of it. Ferner's there, doing a good job, David Ferner, and gets a ball back on the inside. Here's Joey Johns again. Gets the ball back for Kennedy. Kennedy's got support. They'll go in again. Ferner, David Ferner has scored again. The Queenslanders on the bench. Their head goes down. New South Wales have put three tries on the board in a matter of minutes. Well, Ray, I've got to say, even if you're a Queensland supporter, you've got to be impressed by what you've just seen. Sit back and enjoy one of the best origin tries. You will have the delight of watching. It's just beautiful stuff from New South Wales. I hope someone will count the amount of passes that it's run. That's just great interplay there. Don't forget, it's a, it's a wet night here. Difficult handling conditions. And we've got players supporting, backing up. Offload there to Andrew Johns. Second time he's touched the football. Ben Kennedy coming up to get involved. There he is now, strides towards the line. And David Werner, that's his second touch as well, dives over in the corner. Just beautiful to watch. Great rugby league. This is it at its best. Well, New South Wales probably have the best player in the world in their team tonight. That is Andrew Johns, no doubt about it and he's made a hell of a difference to this side. You've got the skill level of Fittler and Kamali tossing Andrew Johns, and it's just unbelievable what's happening out there. The strength of the man, he has been everywhere. He's thrown passes, he's backed up, he's made tackles, he's just a genius. Sets up this one beautifully, and David Ferner, head on the back for David too. Ben Kennedy's had a, a long night, plenty of defence, plenty of hitting the ball up, but he's there as well in the corner to do his part. Good ball. Queensland at the moment have no answer. And look, all these wraps for Andrew Johns, that's taking nothing away from the influence Jeff Tuvia has had in this game as well. So from the touchline, he's got it again. Three from three, almost from the same blade of grass for Ryan Girdler.
Rossi again. I know we've had remarkable finishes in State of Origin football, but I mean, Queensland are going to have to produce the most remarkable to get out of this one, or otherwise the series is most definitely gone. 24 points to 10. Again, you've got to count all 17 players tonight, don't you? Look at the bench players. Johns and David Ferner involved. Ben Kennedy's played very strong, and Furniture, Ferner finishes it off for the Blues. Yes, the old Canberra connection getting it across the line. Ben Kennedy for David Ferner. 24 to 10. They were down 10 6, it seems like a minute ago. Third play. Fletcher. Lockyer. Just inside the 30 metre line. Queensland now with a mountain to climb. And I'm sure the New South Wales coach Wayne Pierce is getting a message out to his players to say, look, this is not one. You know what the opposition are like. They will keep coming until the 80th minute. It's a good lead. Don't go into your shell. Make sure you don't take unnecessary risks and give them a, a, an opportunity to get back into the game. Adrian Lamb finding Tony Cowell. Well, it might be premature, but New South Wales only twice ever have come from a half-time deficit to win at the origin level. And they did it on one of those occasions back in Sydney, as I told you, at half-time, and now it looks like they've done it again. 24 to 10, it's a huge lead in these conditions. Well, Joey Johns, Jason Stevens, Ben Kennedy, they know the enormity of what he's done. In his year, I talked about Scott Hill injury. Uh, it has not been a friendly partner for Andrew Johns either, has it? Kamali. That number seven on Kamali's back, I mean, it, it, there's been no punctuation to his game tonight Johns is just slotted in in the number nine position and Kamali has benefited Tuvi's back on now 24 to 10 three tries they came rapid fire and it started with a rapid fire try that you could hardly describe scored by Sean Timmons as Kamali finds the line Willie yes at the T bar from the 10 meter line and good tactics there from Brett Kamali. The clock is now the friend of New South Wales. And they're quite happy to see the ball out of play. The seconds continue to tick down. That gives less opportunity for Queensland to get back into this game. And also, they want to play it at this end of the field. If you're talking about Queensland getting into the game, it's going to be very difficult. The look on the faces of most of the players getting back there, you would expect down by... 14 points that you'd be racing back trying to make sure that you gave yourself every second that you could not too many of the guys were running back then I think they've uh, realized that it's a pretty tough ask for the rest of the match O'Neill tackled on his own 20 meter line Andrew Voss a comment off the sideline just a slight dampener for the Blues an update on Sean Timmons they do fear some medial ligament damage so he won't be back tonight and I guess that puts him in doubt for game three of the series yes and it's uh, not going to help St George Illawarra either as we make the final run down the straight for the, the Premiership as Lamb gets it out wide for Lockyer. Running onto it, but also running onto the tackle of Scott Hill. Lamb again kicking for Rogers. Rogers might get the bounce here. No, it's bounced onward for Brasher. Brasher has just slotted back into Origin football. Paul Vorton, as though he's never been away from it. Look, he's one of the origin greats for mine for New South Wales. Uh, every game he's ever played for the Blues, he's done something special in the match. He's done a couple of special things again tonight. Uh, he knows what's required to play at this level, and he just keeps producing. Kearns. And Fletcher. Kamali. He's kicking for Brasher. Brasher's after it. Brasher has got it. So the last tackle is with us now. Kamali now, inside the 30, up to the 20. Draws the defence, gets the ball away. Flick pass inside from Girdle to McDougal. McDougal look, gets the ball back. That's Kennedy, Kennedy! So sure. close, Turner. So close, and he would have deserved the try with his performance tonight as well, Ben Kennedy. But the Queenslanders, 
They look down and out, struggling now, deep in their own corner. Adam McDougall, another great performance for him. Martin Lang over there in defence covering. What a game Martin Lang's had for the Queenslanders. He can hold his head up, that's for sure. So they come off their own line and Tallis wrestled down. The confidence is so high now with New South Wales. They're not feeling the fatigue at all. Hetherington. Lockyer. Very much backs to the wall. Penalty. That'll help them. Inside the 10 against the Blues. They take a quick line finder. 8-5 the penalties in favour of Queensland. The birthday boy. Bill Harrigan, 40 today. He's got the job done. <laughs> Not an easy ask as they put the ball through the hands. It went down and went behind Rogers. Rogers fires it back into the middle, finds Lang. And Lang is tackled on the 40. Nothing doing. Rogers again. Tellus. Got the try for Queensland to put them back in front of 10 6. And here they are playing hot potato. Has bowed and gets it away. Rogers tries to go down on the outside. Smith is away. Darren Smith is tackled 10 metres out oh, from the line. Timmy Brasher, he was outside the field of play and somehow got back. That's forward from Adrian Lamb. Intercept by Kamali. Kamali then comes to Bowden and then stops and throws it back off the knees of Hill. And Harrigan says no knock on. Well, it's almost touch football out there at the moment. Did you see that tackle from Tim Brasher? That was unbelievable. Did you see where he came from? Oh, he's made up many lengths down the home straight. Just got him. And that's a sign of a great origin player. I mean, they're leading by 14. You don't have to do this. Well, have a look at him. He's had to turn and chase. He had Matt Rogers covered. And then he's had to turn around. And he's the guy who made up the ground on Darren Smith because I don't think Girdler was going to get him. The Blues then, off the boot of Brad Fittler. Who started this resurgence for them early in the second half. And then, as I said earlier, Gordon Tallis hit back for Queensland. But then, it was the Timmons try that broke the back of Queensland. Here's Matt Singh. Brad Thorne, out so wide. And then, Adrian Lamb. Ferris his way through for Bowman. Halfway line. Well, Jason Stevens has just made a try saver on Paul Bowman. Price down the middle. Gets it away for Paul Green. Green's inside the 20. Oh, it's gone to ground. Matt Singh with a half a chance. It's been propelled forward. Well, fatigue has really set in out there, hasn't it? We've had about 15 line breaks in the last five minutes. The boys are running rampant. There's been some great last disc defence. Paul Green makes another bust. A little sneaky pass there to Matt Singh, but he couldn't control it. And there's some very, very tired Origin players out there. Well, there's been calls in the past that maybe some Origin games have got a little bit dour. But I think everybody has got their money's worth tonight. As I said, even a Queensland supporter has got to say that this match has had absolutely everything. And the open attacking display from both teams has just been a breath of fresh air. But John prepares to come back. Ferner loses the ball. It's play on for the Maroons. Price. Heverington. Lamb. Outside for Green. Rogers. Back for Green again. McDougall making the tackle. He gets it away. Rogers can't take it. They're losing ground. Now Kennedy eventually wraps up Rogers. Outside the New South Wales 20 metre line. Long ball for Julian O'Neill. 24 to 10 inside the last five minutes. Lockyer. 
New South Wales digging deep. Digging into their reserves to hold them at bay. Price for Thorne. Thorne away. Got it away. Bowman! Bowman! Short. An appeal for a try. We're going to have a look. You hold there for four. Well, this is very interesting. I'm Phil Harrigan's telling Paul there. Bowman to stay there. If you haven't scored his fourth tackle. But it seemed as though there was plenty of cover defence coming across. Good work from Brad Thorne on the inside. Nice end of play for Brasher and Bowman there. Jeff Tuvey getting some congratulations. I think this will show that he doesn't get across. No, oh, he's short. How close do you want to go? I mean, his legs were over the line, but the ball wasn't. So he will play the ball on tackle number four. That was the clear call from Bill Harrig. Brad Thorne, a dummy half, a long pass, bouncing for Green. Now Green notices them come up quick on the outside, puts a grubber back on the inside, and Brasher cleans it up. It'll be line drop out time. Once again, some nice clean-up work. Uh, Tim Brasher got there in the end. The Blues, they'll, they'll win this match. Queensland can't score three tries in the last three and a half minutes. You'd have to say that probably their skill level has uh, just been too good tonight for the Maroons. The Maroons have toiled away tirelessly in both attack and defence. Sometimes their attack has left a little bit to be desired. They've tried hard, but maybe they've been outclassed by the likes of uh, Johns, Fittler, Kamali, Brasher. Queensland with Green delivering wide for O'Neill to give for Lamb and then Thorne puts it down under the tackle of Kamali and the ball to be played by Fletcher. So Robbie Kearns. 30 metres out from his own line. We have got three and a half minutes of time to go. Gee, I'll tell you what, this fellow has been very good, Adam Muir. He's lost the ball, so I've put the hex on him, but to continue with that. Talk about players who have been plagued with injury. He's had a long time out of the game. He's had a very short preparation for Origin football, and he's been grand tonight. Right, just looking at the Maroons too, Adrian Lamb. He is playing as good a football as I've seen. Ooh, million intercept from Kamali. Lamb has been sensational. In a beaten side tonight, he's been one of the star performers again. And a couple of weeks back, when Paul Bowman's name was read out by selectors, there might have been plenty of rugby league people saying, Paul who? Well, he has got a career in front of him at this level. He has not looked out of place. Some other good players come around. Darren Smith in the centres, 25 tackles, a great effort. Jason Hetherington, the hooker, 34 tackles. As Smith makes half a bust. And Martin Lane, 26 tackles and 16 hit-ups. Lockyer, back towards the centre for Lamb. And Lamb is just swatted there by Hal and Kern for Melbourne front rows. Hetherington now. Gritting the teeth determinedly, even though it's 24 to 10 and the game is gone. Let's care, let's carry it on. Let's take it right to the line. Price. They'll come back in a fortnight, Queensland, and try to avoid the whitewash. Lamb. Green. Intercepted. There he is again. The intercept king. McDougal. McDougal. Down the sideline. He has got Darren Smith to beat. Lockyer still there. McDougal looks for Girdler. Girdler will score. Girdler's in to score. The Girdler and McDougal show. <laughs> and a pretty fitting way to finish too, isn't it? They kept New South Wales in the game in game one, their combination. And you've just seen some great work from them again. Ryan Girdler, you just don't throw the ball near him when he's coming up in defence. Paul Green makes a mistake, he frees it there. Look how far Girdler has come up. He's up in the line of, of Queensland, and basically they put it on a platter for him as play continues. Nice control there. He got McDougal on the fly who juggles the football. Darren Smith really the sole chaser, along with Lockyer at the, at the end. And then just Adam McDougal bamboozling Darren Smith. And Ryan Girdler, some nifty little footwork at the end. Great finish. Well, this will go down as Queensland's biggest ever defeat.
obviously it's been 18 to 2 and 26 to 10. And he's really blossomed, hasn't he, Ryan Girdler? Taking a while to burst into the representative scene. His point scoring feats at club level couldn't be denied. Watch this, Pete. I think it'll be on this uh, on this replay. Gives himself a try, does he? He points to the spot. There he is. He says, try for me. Ryan Girdler misses the attempt at conversion. The origin is over. State of origin two, that is. One to go in Sydney in a fortnight. It will be a tremendous game. And the Blues supporters, you should be there to see them do the lap of honour. They have won the 19th series played in this great contest. The series now drawn level at 9-9 with one drawn. This means that New South Wales in the 19th series have finally drawn level with Queensland. Some looks of disappointment on the Queensland benches, on the Queensland faces. But Andrew Voss said something in the commentary that was so true. These replacement players tonight, gee, they stood tall, did they not? Andrew Johns, Tim Brasher, Adam Muir. Superlative game by Johns. Kennedy was great, wasn't he? Look at David Ferner. Bordering on vintage now, bordering on veteran.